Infamous. Being a celebrity is not as easy as it looks. She is way bigger of a star than I am. She just has that glow, that shine about her. She's outspoken. When I see something I want, I go for it. The phone's ringing. Get that boom out of my face. Somebody get rid of this dog. Or have my assistant go for it. Hold on a sec. Miss Edwards was kind enough to hire me as her assistant. All right, all right, double time. She's Hollywood's darling, a Broadway star and a multi-platinum pop diva. Just hanging out with her 24-7, it's just so much fun. We knew from the time Allie was very young she'd be a star. We just didn't expect the entire universe to revolve around her. Feel the rain on your skin. Rare home videos and a revealing new interview tell the story of a singer who marches to her very own beat. This is my E! True Hollywood story. In the beginning, there was Aretha, and Diana, and Tina. While these women were belting out songs, another diva was born who would make her mark on the music industry. I grew up in New York on Long Island. Because our families were all friends and everything, we went to the same school. I first started singing when I was three. Very strong voice. She was a natural. I started off doing some off-Broadway. She started off doing school plays. I started writing music and lyrics when I was nine. She came to me with a song that she wrote. And when I heard her perform it, I knew that was her ticket. Once the rest of the songs were written, I went down to the studio, and then for the next year and a half, we went on tour. I went to a couple of her concerts, and I was wearing her t-shirt with my cowboy boots and jumping around more than the fans. When the album came out, I had no idea how huge it was really gonna be. The album went double platinum. Sales eventually hit an astounding 20 million worldwide. Some people say that's where I became a bit of a diva. Alexandra had a few simple requests for the tour. Uh, the word diva sometimes kind of has a you know negative, a bossy connotation. So uh, no, I wouldn't call Miss Edwards a diva. Sushi and ice cream backstage. She made sure I was taping all her TV shows and HBO specials. Where is my mocha frappuccino? No. Skittles, separated by color, of course. Isn't she your sister? She prefers Miss Edwards. And a different color tour bus for each day of the week. Life on the road is really tough. If you don't like know the language of like the place that you're in, it's like really hard to order room service. I knew her head was getting a little too big when she asked if we could rename Oldfield Alleytown. I felt I needed a break from the music scene. I wanted to try something different. She landed a guest spot on That 70s Show. I've been, you know, trying to push the producers to have it so that we're making out in every scene. Acting on television was really cool, but I wanted to push the envelope a little bit, do something different for my fans. When she came in and she read for the movie, everyone was blown away. Oh, Arnie's such a sweetie. And I said to her, I said, look, I, I only play the Terminator. I think you're the real Terminator. Then she got the chance to strut her stuff on Broadway. I was asked to star in a musical called Wicked, where I played the role of Alphaba. Being back on the stage really made me want to start recording again. Her Midas touch continued. The second album dropped in August and hit the top of the charts worldwide. The biggest selling first week ever for a female artist. Yes, I will accept the part, thank you, so you are putting lip gloss on my toenails, you idiot! No, no, not you. It's so hard to find good help these days. Miss Edwards, these are from Zach, with an I love you. <sighs> I'm on the phone with Spielberg's people. Here's your latte. Foam? Ditching the latte. No. You tell Steven that if I don't get top billing over Meryl Streep, then I'm out. Everybody out of my dressing room! <laughs> so. Here we are backstage at the Hard Rock Hotel, Cafe and Casino in Las Vegas. She hosted a bash at the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino. Thanks, I think we're all cut up now. 
Anyway, I wanted to kick my world tour off in style and wanted you all to be a part of it. I hope you enjoy my performance. I know I will.